Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Um, after my last video, um, I was contacted by a lady who saw the little Prestud flower that I had used in the botanical mini trifold journal and she asked if I could uh, explain how I made the flower. Um, so I thought I would do a very quick um, how-to video. Um, many of you will have probably seen these little flowers um, before they're nothing new and they are incredibly simple to make I'm almost uh, embarrassed to show how they're made but um, I said I would so here we go so these are the little flowers just trying to give you a better look close to and as you can see they have there we go press studs in the middle they can be as big or as small as you like. It all depends on the punches that you use. I used these two punches. They're dough craft punches and they cut out um, die cuts that are about um, an inch in diameter. If you have a punch that punches out bigger, that's absolutely fine. Um, it just depends on the size of flower that you want and this is the perfect size for my mini trifold journals. So, the oh, the other thing I would say is um, you don't have to have um, the same image or different images. You can mix and match whatever, whatever you like. It's entirely up to you. And you also don't have to have a set number of layers. That's also up to, up to you. So it's very much have a play and um, decide what, what you like. Okay. Um, what you will also need um, is art glitter glue or any sort of glue um, because it actually helps to hold your little flower layers together before you punch them, punch a hole in the centre. For punching a hole I use um, the smallest setting on my crocodile. It's not essential to have one of these, you could use something like a dowel or a darning needle. Um, the only thing I would say is please be careful with your hands when you're punching a hole um, with a darning needle or a dowel and it would probably help if you had a piece of foam like I have here um, and punch down into that or sorry pierce down into that. Um, the other thing that you will need is um, your press studs and again the colour and size is entirely up to you. These are some very tiny ones that um, I had in my stash um, and these are the perfect size for my little mini flowers for my journals. So all you will need to do is punch out some flowers and you can use any old scrap paper. This is an old book page that I wouldn't use um, in my journals, so I use it for flowers. Um, I'm not going after the image, I'm actually going after the colour here. Um, so I'm going to use the other punch, I think. So I'm just punching out one of the flowers. And then on this one, as you can see, I'm going after the yellow colour. So I think uh, what I will do, just rip that strip off so I can get my punch in closer and get the, get the colour that I want. There we go. Punch that out. I'm going for three layers. Um, what I like to do is find an old piece of um, scrap paper. This is a piece of tea stain paper that uh, I had left over from last time I made these flowers. And I've just punched out another um, flower out of that. But equally that strip that I've just ripped off, um, I could use that for punching out a flower. Um, so nothing goes to waste with these, which is ideal. So all I do now is layer up my flowers, just making sure that they're all slightly off centre from each other. And as I say, I just put the tiniest dab of glue 
in the centre of each flower just to hold it securely whilst I punch it. So that's my flower constructed. What you can do now is you can use a ball ended stylus and either your piece of foam or the palm of your hand and roll it round to make it form the shape that you want and close it up. Um, I don't tend to do that. What I tend to do is I tend to do it after I've put the Prestard through my, um, my flower. What I do do though is I tend to mark the centre of my flower with a dot just so that when I punch with my crocodile that I can actually see the centre of my flower, see that dot through the aperture so that I know where the centre of my flower is. Now you can eyeball it but I can tell you I've done it so many times and it's off centre it's not true so <laughs> I tend to put that little dot in. Um, if it doesn't bother you then that's absolutely fine. Okay so now what I do is I take my press studs, I open them up, the one with the little stem in the middle or the nodule in the middle I put through the back of the flower and up through that hole and then I put the connecting piece on top like that and there's your flower but it's very flat and not dimensionalized at all which is fine for journals but they will take a little bit of dimensionalization if that's a word so what I tend to do with mine is I just put them in the um, palm of my hand and just press down with my fingers and just manipulate it a little bit and actually you can be quite rough with them um, you know so obviously that's very very cup shaped which is probably too much so I just play with it a little bit open it out a little bit um, curl some bits up and curl some bits down so you've got to remember that when if you're putting these inside your journals they will get flattened to some extent but not much in all honesty um, they do tend to hold some of their shape now if you wanted to have these as a permanent uh, inclusion or fixture or embellishment in your journals then what you can do is put a dab of glue on the back there stick them in what I would suggest if you're going to do that is that you use a little bit of glossy accents um, on the back there because that's a, a really good strong adhesive and will um, stick metal um, and just be patient whilst it dries or um, the other thing that you can do is which is what I did in my um, little journal was if you want to make it as a page embellishment you can punch a hole with your crocodile and when you're constructing it put that stud piece that you used at the back of the flower through your paper or your page and then put your flower on your page like that. Um, you can use these on, I don't know, tags, you can use them on envelopes, you can use them on um, journal pages as I did in mine. Um, there are 101 uses um, of these little flowers. I haven't found them all so <laughs> go for it make your uh, find your own way of using them but I just thought they were sweet and uh, so so easy to do so I hope you're gonna go and um, have a play and um, enjoy so thank you so much everybody for for watching and um, see you again soon take care bye bye